In today's gaming landscape, there are dozens upon dozens of Metroidvanias for you to choose from, and when you're in such a crowded genre, you really gotta do something unique to make yourself stand out from the pack. And with that said, thank you to the good folks at Kepler Interactive for hooking your boy up with a review code. We are going to talk about the new psychedelic, trippy Metroidvania Altros. Now, when Altros, uh, the main character you play as, uh, gets stuck, in a giant space drifting cosmic uterus called the sarcophagus that houses an ancient demonic being named Altros. And no, the cosmic uterus description, that is not a joke. That is the literal description of this place. Those are their words, not mine. But anywho, you will be spending your time uh, running through this sarcophagus, adventuring. You get to meet some interesting characters like my homie the gardener. You'll be fighting some weird uh, inhabitants uh, <laughs> and You'll just be figuring out your role uh, in the sarcophagus and just unraveling a lot of its mysteries along the way. And Altros has some heavy sci-fi themes. You'll be, uh, you know, seeing a lot of themes based on, you know, humanity, life, death, and connection. And not just connection to the people that you meet, but connection to the environment itself, which plays a very important part in this game. And I think Altros did a really good job of just weaving in the mechanics and the story together in a way that just really made sense and it, it gave a sense of importance to the interactions that you had and as you travel through this just vibrant psychedelic just wacky sarcophagus um you'll be doing one of the game's most unique mechanics which is the gardening feature and this is what really made this game stand out and when you're gardening you'll be planting seeds that you collect uh throughout your adventures and different seeds will grow different things so once you you know plant a seed the seed will eventually grow into something that may sprout and give you some fruit and the fruit you can use to consume which will give you nutrients and the nutrients not only heal you but you also use the nutrients to help you advance and unlock additional abilities in the skill tree and also more importantly the seeds can also grow into plants that can help you uh help aid you with traversal uh, to help you get to areas that you couldn't get to before it's actually a pretty intricate system that they have here i would just recommend take note of which seed grows which specific plant so that you know where to place specific plants or you could just be like me and just, just plant anything anywhere because why not <laughs> but you know the, the nutrients play a key part in this game and you can also get nutrients from killing off uh, the enemies that you'll be fighting and the interesting thing is depending on the way you kill them will depend on the quality of nutrients uh, that you get and th this is th this was really interesting and Altros does does not want you to be out here just spamming the same button and using the same move over and over again uh, that will not help you out if you just mindlessly spam the attack button uh, you're gonna get the low grade nutrients you're gonna get gonna get the trash and uh, that will uh, make upgrading and healing yourself uh, be a much slower process than it needs to be but if you kill with style if you kill with grace if you get creative and you use all of the moves that you got uh, in the skill tree you will get the high grade nutrients and that's what you want you want the good stuff and i just i really like how the combat and the gardening and the upgrade system kind of has like its own like little ecosystem and everything's just connected and like i said it just it brings that sense of importance like i said earlier and another major part of ultros and this is where it might lose some people um i didn't mind it much but uh, ultros does have a time loop mechanic uh so after certain major events of the game you're gonna get thrown into a time loop it's gonna place you right back at square one uh you'll be right back where you started so you got to find your weapon again you got to do your upgrades again on the skill tree um, unless you find a special item, I think it's called mnemonic mycelium. Some of the words in this game are really hard to pronounce. A lot, lot of scientific terms. I, I can't pronounce all these words. But I think it's called a mnemonic mycelium. Uh, but you can use that to lock in certain abilities and make them permanent. Uh, so as long as you have that attached to the ability, you won't lose it even when the time loop resets. Uh, some people, like I said, will find the time loop annoying. Um, I will say there are certain abilities that I feel like shouldn't have been tied to a time loop that you should have to regain uh like i don't know get, getting a double jump or a high jump or being able to jump off a wall I just feel like that's something you should just have at all times but with that said the time loop also helps you get to unexplored areas uh that you haven't been to before so the time loop isn't always you know so repetitive and i still felt like i was making progress even when i had to start back over because to be honest, I didn't find Altros to be a very difficult
difficult game in terms of fighting enemies so i just i, I wish it did have a little more enemy variety because uh, it didn't take me that long to figure out the different enemy patterns and how to you know take everybody out in a successful way uh, and a benefit i guess of me being able to figure that out pretty quick was that i was able to get my upgrades back fairly fast i never felt like i was struggling to get back the skill tree or get back an ability that i once had I, I was getting right back on the road really quick within a few minutes and just getting right back to the expiration which is my favorite part of the game because bro this map is, is huge there's so much to find lots of places to go people to see the things to look at secrets to get to it's just it's a lot going on and the the, the funny thing is i feel like altros and I, I don't mean this as a slight but it doesn't do a lot really spectacularly um like the combat is okay the platforming is okay the enemies are okay the boss fights are fun but to be honest most of those weren't really that hard to figure out but with all that said i couldn't put this down i had I, I just I love the environment, the aesthetics, the uh, the gardening mechanic. Like I said, was really cool. That was a really innovative thing. Um, the little little tool I can't remember what it's called. There's a little tool that you get that connects to your back that can do some pretty cool things that you'll find out in the game. Um, the soundtrack I haven't even mentioned that the soundtrack is really on point. And I just like how they unraveled the story through the lore and just you talking to the characters and. Every time you did the time loop, you found out a little more and then a little more. And it just, it did a, Altros just did a good job of keeping me curious enough to, you know, make me just want to keep playing and keep exploring and just looking around every corner to figure out what was where. And, you know, I don't know, it just, it had a really just unique feel to it that I haven't gotten from many other Metroidvanias that I've played, to be honest. And there's definitely some replay value here. It took me, I think, 12 hours to complete the game, but you could easily sink about 20 hours into this if you just really take the time to sit down and explore everything that the game has to offer but man like no the ultra this was good man this was really really good I, I figured that i would like this when i first saw the initial trailer but now that i've actually completed it i can say this is actually this is way better than i thought it was going to be um and while not all the some of its parts are great i think the total package of ultras was grade a it definitely delivered I, just, I feel like it gave me something that i didn't really know that i needed it was unique it was creative and trippy in all of the best ways but most importantly it just it gave me an experience that i haven't really found anywhere else it just it really just it really is its own game and that to me is what truly makes altros a shining gem among a, a pile of thousands of other metroidvanias that you can play uh, but once again, thank you to Kepler Interactive for hooking your boy up with a review code. If you've played Altros, would love to hear your thoughts on the game, so drop those in the comments below. But that's all I got for today. My name is Serial Sensei. Y'all stay safe, y'all stay hydrated, and I will catch y'all on the next video.